Hello, I'm Paul Farmer, Chief Executive of the mental health charity Mind. And last year, with Lord Dennis Stevenson, we produced the Thriving at Work review uh, on commission from the Prime Minister Theresa May. The purpose of it was very simple, to really bring together the very best of what's going on in workplace mental health at the moment and set out a clear range of standards for all employers to adopt uh, in terms of really progressing their own approaches to workplace mental health and well-being. Uh, we drew on the best experience of uh, many organisations, including many City Mental Health Alliance members, but also we thought about uh, people who worked in the gig economy, people working in small and medium-sized enterprises, and people working in the public, the private and the voluntary sectors to try to make sense of what the best approaches were. We also commissioned Deloitte to provide us with a clear economic analysis about why this was such an important piece of work. And they found that it cost the uh, UK economy round about £99 billion every year. Most importantly though, we found that the human cost of getting this wrong was vast. Some 300,000 people fall out of work every single year as a result of poor mental health. And I'm sure everyone in the room today can think of someone who has just slipped away from the workplace because their mental health hasn't had the help and support that, that they really needed. When we launched the re report, which contains many recommendations for the government and for employers, uh, we set out a set of six core standards that we believed every single organisation can adopt. And on, on top of that, four advanced standards that we believed organisations which were larger in size could uh, pick up in the course of the next year or so. This is a voluntary endeavour. We haven't recommended a huge amount of mandatory approaches because we believe that there's enough energy and enough commitment to mental health in the workplace for people to do the right thing. Uh, it needs certain elements inside organisations, but we believe that the review has created a landscape that many can, can take part in and follow. When we produced the standards, we hoped that organisations across public, private and voluntary sectors would look at them and think about how they apply to their own workplace cultures and environments. And we expected and hoped that subsectors of our economy would look at those standards and set a template for their own parts of uh, their own workplaces. So we are absolutely delighted that the City Mental Health Alliance has produced its own guide for organisations that are city-based organisations around how to think about and adopt the standards for your own organisations. This is exactly the kind of leadership that we are hoping to see from other parts of the, of the economy uh, as the message, the quiet revolution of the thriving at work standards really catches fire. Now we know that for many organisations this is the st just the starting point. Uh, for many people we're beginning to realise quite how important mental health in the workplace is and perhaps also how we support people's poor mental health outside the workplace as well. So we hope that as this, these standards really are adopted on a wider scale that two things happen. First of all, organisations are more open about the work they are doing. We'd like to see next year's annual reporting cycle include statements that reflect the commitments that organisations have made. And secondly, we'd like to see a growth in the sharing of that best practice, because we're all learning about what the best approaches are. And it's only by sharing that best practice that we will achieve a better approach to tackling mental health in the workplace. I truly believe that in five years time, the UK will have shown itself to be a global leader when it comes to workplace wellbeing. We have the ingredients, we have the commitment and the passion from leaders across business and in the public sector to be able to make a real difference. Now the task is to get on and implement those standards. Thank you very much.